Hi, today we're finishing the interaction system. If you haven't already, please go check parts 1 and 2 so you don't get lost. I've uploaded the source code files into GitHub. The link will be in the description. Let's go! Okay, so I ended last video by showing you the interaction system wouldn't work with a group of objects. And I'll tell you the problem right away. The functions on box begin overlap and on box send overlap are called exactly once, at the beginning of the collision and at the end of it. So whenever an object enters or leaves the box, we get a pointer to that object and whichever object we had selected before ends up with an undefined state. This is obviously wrong and the solution is to move our code into the tick function. However, this raises a new problem because we have no way of selecting a single object and if the player gets multiple interaction widgets, they will get confused. So here's the plan. We're gonna get an array of all the actors that are overlapping our box, and we'll calculate the distance from each of them to our character. Then we'll choose the closest one, and we'll call the interaction functionality from that one and only actor. Sounds good? Let's do it. Open your character's implementation file and go to the tick function. We'll start by creating an empty array called overlapping actors, which will contain a actor data types. Then, from the interaction box pointer, we have to call get overlapping actors, which does exactly what you think. The argument it takes is an out parameter, and we'll use the array we just created. Then, we'll use a range based for to loop through all the actors in the array. This way we don't have to worry about calculating the array's length. The auto keyword selects the data type automatically. Before we start coding the loop though, let's choose an actor to be the closest one. I'll just choose the first one. So create an A actor variable called closest actor and assign it to the first element of the array. Back to the for loop. Let's check if the current actor is closer to the closest actor we selected by using get distance to. If the condition is met, we'll reassign closest actor to current actor. Next, we're gonna check whether an interface is already active so that we don't end up with random floating interaction widgets. If that's the case, we'll call hide interaction widget. Now that we have the closest actor, let's try to cast it to an I interaction interface class and assign it to our interface member variable. If the cast is successful, we'll ask it to show its interaction widget. We're almost done, but notice, however, that the overlapping actors array could be empty and we are not checking whether it is and we are assigning the first element to a variable which trust me will cause your game to crash yes it happened to me so after we call get overlapping actors we'll check its length and if it's zero we'll return from the function and just in case let's check whether an interface is active and hide its interaction widget don't forget to reassign it to a null pointer. And I have good news. That's it! All that's left to do is to erase unbox begin overlap and unbox end overlap because we won't be needing them anymore. Don't forget to erase the add dynamic part on the begin play function. And we are done. Compile your code and once it's done, you can hit play and test it for yourself. Let me just change the color of these lights so they're more distinguishable from one another. And there you go. Your interaction system is finally complete. Now let me add even more lights to show you that you can have as many as you like. 
So now the rest is up to you. Go ahead and create your elevators, your ammo packs, your health packs, your dialogues, whatever you're trying to do. Because the system is flexible enough to allow you to do anything you like. And with that said, I want to thank you for following this series. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please like, share and, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm thinking about creating a blueprint version of this tutorial. So please let me know if you'd be interested in that. I leave links to my social media so you can hit me up. Or just use the good old comment section. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.